everybody. I'm a little afraid my pumpkin's gonna fall off if I move too much. I was just practicing my balancing with my little pumpkin while I got ready for story time. Let's see how long I can keep it up there. Probably not very long. All right, it is time for story time online with Miss Renee, Salem Public Library in Salem, Ohio. This is the last story time of the fall session because it's Thanksgiving next week. Uh, which is why there is a pumpkin on my head because see, he's afraid of getting turned into pumpkin pie. Uh, which is pretty yummy. All right. Pretty sure he's gonna fall off when I try to do a song here to get us started. Eh, there we go. <laughs> Actually stayed up there longer than I expected it to. It's a good, good activity. It's good to work on our balance. Maybe not with a real pumpkin. Mine is stuffed and squishy. Got a jack-o'-lantern face on that side. All right, so I have a, a thank you rhyme, and we're gonna do a, just a tiny little bit of sign language with this one today. It's a good sign to learn. We are gonna learn the sign for thank you. So thank you, thank you is a very simple sign in sign language. It's just start, you don't actually touch your mouth, especially because you know, hands are germy. All right, but near your mouth and just pushing out. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna do that as along with the motions to our song here, or our rhyme. So are we ready? My hands, my hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. My feet, all right, get some toes out. These are no got their toes. Uh, say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. My Head says thank you with a shake, shake, shake. My heart says thank you with a kiss to take. A little kiss or go get go give a grown one of your grown-ups a kiss. Alright, so we did a little a little thank you rhyme. I'm gonna write, thank you. It's a good one to learn this month. And my story for you guys today is called Where is Baby's Turkey? And this one is by Karen Katz and it is published by Simon and Schuster. All right. It's Thanksgiving. Baby is looking for his cuddly turkey. Is it behind the flowers? Should we take a peek? Let's let's see. Let's move the flap and see if it's under there. Is that a stuffed turkey? No, but there's baby's special hat. So he's got his hat to wear now. Is it behind the gate? What do you guys think? If we open this gate, will we find his stuffed turkey? Should we check? Let's see. No, but look, what did he find? Baby found a basket of apples. All right, we're still looking for the turkey. We've got a hat and we've got apples now. Is it behind the basket? What do you guys think? Should I lift the flap up so we can check? All right, let's do it. Let's see. Video got interrupted. Okay, we're gonna check under the flap and see if it's there. No, it is a plate spoon fork and knife well they're ready to eat at least still no stuffed turkey is it inside the refrigerator why would his stuffy be in the refrigerator let's see no it's cranberries gravy and sweet potatoes those are good things for thanksgiving but still not the toy is it in the kitchen we check and see? Let's open this flap. All right, let's open it. Oh no, it's grandma with a yummy pumpkin pie. All right. But still no stuffed turkey. Is baby's cuddly turkey behind the door? Should we open it and find out? Let's see. Yes! And now the whole family is here. Happy Thanksgiving. 
and that's the end. So I hope you guys are all getting ready for a wonderful Thanksgiving yourselves. And I hope to see everybody at the library very, very soon. Um, so stay safe and we'll see you guys soon. All right, I miss everybody. I love you. Bye.